Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So we have Well African Hair and this guys, this wig is beautiful. Okay, so here is a comparison with the Swiss lace, the HD lace and the brown lace. And I'm going to show you why the HD lace is the best one. So as you can see, literally all of them are here. Um, they sent me samples of them, which is beautiful. And as you can see on my hands, when I put it against my hand, and also when I put it in the daylight, that the HD lace is the perfect one because it literally blends on my skin. The Swiss lace is a bit lighter and the brown lace is a bit too brown. Um, so yeah, guys, honestly, I'll suggest the HD lace. It's one of the best laces that I have come across and you are not going to regret it. So make sure you check that out. So I hope that comparison really helped you. As you can see, the lace is literally invisible. Like, look, where does it start? You don't know. So that's how it is on your head. It's beautiful. So I saw this wig, right? And I wanted to do a bit of cheeky brunette. So fingers crossed, it turns out how... Um, it turns out decent. I was actually quite scared because I've used Dark and Lovely before, but I think I used it only for like 30 minutes and it didn't, it didn't do anything. But what I realised, you need to use Dark and Lovely for at least three hours and you have to let it marinate. <laughs> so this is the lace, guys. Look at the knots. The knots are literally be Oh, they're perfect. They're literally perfect. So I'm literally mixing it up. I used two bottles. I should have used more because I think at the back, I kind of missed some. However, <laughs> the hair came out cute still. So this is just a quick tutorial on how I quickly, effortlessly dye this like brownish, dark brownish color into a beautiful brunette. It says honey blonde, but it looks brunette. Um, maybe if I kept it on a bit longer, it might have done, it might have lightened up just a tiny bit more, but I love the outcome anyways. So this is how I literally, <laughs> I like literally place it on, you know me guys, when it comes to stuff, I haven't got time to be doing up sections. I'm literally throwing it on there and two hours later, this is the outcome and I was loving it. So I blowed, blow dried, I blow dried it out and then I straightened it out also. The hair was still soft, the knots are still beautiful. The, um, it bleached really well actually, as you can see the lace is still on there you guys thought it was off didn't you now the lace is still on there mate the lace is still on there you just can't see where it is you can't see so i did straighten it out i was gonna do a side part but then i thought oh a middle would be cute but you know me i love my cheeky side part i love my ear out you know got a little cute flirtatious vibe going on so yeah i decided to do a side part instead Now this is what I'm talking about. Look at the lace. Look at that lace and the knots. Oh, and the pre-plucked hairline. I didn't do anything to this wig, guys. I literally just dyed it and placed it on my head, literally. So um, I'm not a fan of plucking. So when a wig does not need plucking, does not need bleaching, does not need anything done, it's I'm sold already. I'm sold. And it's really worth your money. It's worth your money to invest in a good wig, guys. And well African, they have beautiful, beautiful wigs. I've worked with this company before and I have not been disappointed. So let's now style this wig on my head and let's go.
And there we have it. There she is. I'm a brunette, guys. What colour would you call this? Well, I just wanted to do something brown and different. I've never, ever done this colour before. So I thought, why not try it? So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. All the description bar will be full up with the details of this wig. So make sure you check them out. Click on the links below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.